What's up guys, Simster here. Today we're going to do a little more editor things. We're going to talk about some animations and how you do that. So let's, let's uh, not ramble this time. Let's hop right in. Let's do this one. Gundas. Afghanistan. This map's sick. If you guys haven't seen this one, it's a mod obviously, but it's on the Steam Workshop. But yeah, so let's talk about animations. I don't know if you guys know this yet, but I was screwing around this last night, literally like all night, because it's cool it's really cool so let's just do it like right here why not so let's set up some op 4 guys I'm just gonna use single units right now let's do Takistani militia and we're gonna take automatic rifleman alright so this guy's just chilling he's just chilling now so I take this guy I'm gonna put him like right here. Now, I'm gonna do one more for a second. So this guy, like this. Now, what I mean by animation is, I mean if you guys don't know, is just you can get them to do some idle mo like animations. I mean, it's pretty simple there. So, and this also helps where they won't be. I found that when you put things down, they'll just wander around, and sometimes you don't want them to do that. So if you have a camp set up, you can do this. And what you can do is you go up into Tools, if you haven't seen this yet, and you can go into Functions Viewer, and it shows all these different like scripting things you can do. And if you go into Ambient right here, if you're on Arma 3, you can see Ambient Animations. And there's all these different things right here that show what you can set them to do. So you have them standing still, you can have them watch. You can have them doing briefings, which is cool because they'll be talking to each other and stuff. So you can set up all these cool little things. And you can set up what gear they want. So we'll keep this in mind in a second, but I'll mention it real quick. If you have this, if you don't set this, it's going to be set to default, I think. So it's going to randomize their gear. So if you don't want to do that, you're going to have to put in this, which we'll go over that in a sec. So let's quickly, I'm all I'm going to do is I'm just going to straight up copy and paste this so I don't have to keep typing it which we'll see that all right and let's have this guy we're gonna have this guy you're gonna double click on him you could give him a variable I mean I haven't and I don't think it matters I have did this with like a whole group of guys and I just had them all set to this and it didn't seem to conflict at all they seemed fine so I mean someone could comment if you say like that's gonna screw me up later but right now it doesn't seem like you need to set a variable for everything but if you wanted to you could do like man one and then just change this to man one. But then you'd want that different for this guy. But so, yeah, this is the variable, this guy, and this is the action you want him doing. So let's make him lean. Make him lean. And then after that, I'm gonna do comma, and this is the gear. So you could set to none, and he'll have no gear or whatever. You could set to light, medium, or heavy, I think. Or, oh no, I think it's full. But I'm going to do medium, so it's going to give him some stuff for this guy, so you can just see that. And then you just leave this as call that. You press OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for this guy. Copy and paste. We'll, list, we'll have this guy... Uh, what is this one? I think it's like sit one, two, something weird like that. Let's look real quick. Just double check. Sit one, three. No, we don't want him sitting on that. Sitting on the ground with a weapon. Sit underscore low. Let's have him do that. Underscore low. And then we're going to put this guy as this. Asus or whatever. That makes it so it doesn't touch his gear. So it doesn't, leave it, it doesn't do anything to his gear. Okay, so you press OK. We're gonna make ourselves a little civvy. We're gonna be a beggar. We're gonna be a filthy beggar. That's the player. Let's hop in and look at that. All right, and look at that, boys. This guy's chilling. Looks like a thug. He's kind of floating. You could move him back a little bit, and then he'll lean it farther back. But you don't want to get him too close, otherwise he'll start clipping through things. But it doesn't really matter for that. But yes, yeah, so he's leaning and he's sitting. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this is really cool once you start getting bigger groups going. But the thing right now, and I'll show you this, 
I've seen a couple other videos of this too, and I mean they're good videos, but people don't sometimes people don't mention the problem that I've had where let's do blue four. Let's be USA Army D. This one's sick. Where's the door? Where's the door? Plop him down. Whoops. That's me. I think, well, actually, I think it'll just do me if I'm on him. And unless I'm crazy, this is what was happening last night, so I'm, if, this is going to be funny if it doesn't work, but let me walk in here. And these guys are not doing anything. They don't give a shit. This guy's thugging out, he doesn't care, he's not shooting me. And this is not what you want, because if you set up a mission with all these guys just ambient, they're not going to do anything. So you can just walk in and be like, oh, that was difficult. Wow, this mission sucks, right? So to fix this, I mean, if you want someone to just not react, you can do that. I don't, I mean, you could, I don't know why you'd do that, maybe. But you can do it. Maybe if you had like a hostage, you had a ton of blue four or something, and you didn't have the blue four shoot. I don't know. But to fix this so they fight, let's take a look at tools, animation, combat. Keyword combat. Now, the only difference with this is what I had to do. This stuff, I mean, someone maybe could explain this. I tried using this, and I w it wasn't working. I mean, it would set it so... Um, where is it? Well, we'll read it up here. Um, come on. Oh, when there's a certain distance, if they know about them, they'll shoot. And you can set the distance or stuff. But I didn't even bother with that. I just basically cut that out. And all I did was change at the end. I added combat. And this works for most of these animations, I think. But some of these it won't work for because they're not, you know, so it doesn't say all those ones. So I don't know if it works. We'll try it. We'll try a briefing one and add combat at the end to see if it works. But so all I did is just add animation, ambient anim animation, combat. And what this does is makes it so if they see me, if they're aware of me, they're going to shoot the shit out of me. Okay. So if I like shoot at this guy, he's going to react because he's going to be in a combat situation now. And let's put for testing pur purposes. Let's put a... Let's put this guy like right here. And set him... Um, briefing. And we'll put, we'll put him also as none. Ain't got none. Let's print combat. Let's see if, let's just, let's put him, uh, we'll put him right here. He's like talking to his buddy. Okay. And let's spawn in and let's just see who reacts real quick. Cause this is, I mean, you definitely want people to react if you're setting up a cool mission. Briefing doesn't see how it's saying an error. Let's see if that works though. He's still turned though. So he's still, and they're all reacting. I'm not gonna die though. Cause I don't die. I do die. I die a lot. Alright, so they all reacted, right? Uh the only thing is let's double check. Let's double check as the uh civilian that that guy's still doing the briefing. And he should be. Doing like briefing, like, oh, well, he's doing the briefing, like, stance. I guess maybe they just don't always talk. Because a lot of times they'll they'll say things and it's really cool. But yeah, he's doing like his briefing kind of thing. But yeah, so there's a ton of different things you guys can do with that. And you can set up some cool stuff where those guys are going to just chill like that. So you can have like a compound where the guys are just chilling until some kind of combat happens. But if you don't have that combat set at the end, they're not going to do anything. So you just make sure you have that combat set if you want them to react and actually fight. But yeah, so you just go up into tools and function and you can see all the different animations. 
And there's a ton of different scripting things like this where you can see, and uh, some are more complicated. Believe me, I haven't looked at everything, so I probably won't be able to answer. I mean, but if you get into this shit, there's like ambient flybys too, where you can have like an ambient helicopter spawn and flyby and stuff. And there's really cool things like that. So just double it, definitely, uh, yes, acceptable states right here and so on. I think those are the only ones that you can do for combat. Maybe. I don't know, but it looks like maybe uh, briefing was working. But that's you guys can test that. But I just wanted to give you guys that little heads up, just in case you didn't know about that. So uh, hopefully you liked the video, guys. Hopefully it uh, helped you in some way. And have a good day.